about surfing and skateboarding. If you'd like to join the show tonight, give us a call at 831-479-1080. That's 831-479-1080. And now, here are your hosts for tonight's program, Neil Pearlberg and Terry Campion. Good evening and welcome to show number 60 of <laughs> Off the Lip Radio Show on KSCO, where we ask you to listen and be heard. Tonight we have a very special guest in studio with us. And if you are streaming on live on the surfchannel.com, which you can be, our guest tonight is the one wearing the tie. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> okay. So you can also listen to us on uh, ksco.com. We are on iTunes, TuneIn, Facebook, Instagram, and we are now tweeting. We got it all covered. In the studio tonight, our guest, the one and only who is surfers, the surfer's best friend, the Michelangelo of surfer's ear, Dr. Doug Hessler. Good evening, doctor. How are you? Thank you. It's very nice to be here. How was that introduction? That was great. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I'm saying for those people that are listening or going to be viewing the streaming, it's a beautiful day in Santa Cruz and it's too bad we can't be doing this outside. That's right. It is a beautiful day. And why are you wearing a tie on a day like today? Is he, I, to forgot, I forgot to take it off. <laughs> you did. Yeah. Well, we had, you keep, we had you keep it on so people could recognize you. Okay. Because if, like the rest of us in here, and we have a packed house here tonight. We have Noel from Doc's Pro Plugs. We have Sherry Bianchini from The Healthy Way. My wonderful co-host, Terry Campion. We have our super producers. And we have pizza from, where we get pizza from? We have pizza from somewhere. Little Caesars. Yeah. Little Caesar. Okay, we got pizza from Little Caesar. But we are, we're going to start off with uh, asking the doctor a bunch of questions. Oh, before we start. If you want to get your ears checked tonight, what are we doing, doctor? From 8 to 8.30, and then this is on Tuesday, April 29th. Tonight. Uh, down at the lobby of KSCO, which is 2900 Portola Drive. That'll be 2300 Portola Drive. 2300, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it right. I don't know what's, uh, what's going on with that address. They'll be down there at the Coles Barbecue <laughs> wanting to get their ears checked. <laughs> Okay, whatever the address is. I want is. the brisket. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it puts you in the lagoon. I don't know. Um, yeah, we're going to do ear exams. And I've got a camera that we can uh, hook up to a, a video screen okay. and people can see what their ears look like. Very so cool. So surfer, non-surfer, whatever you, you want to have a look, come on and down. And the best part about it, it's free. So if you want to get down here, get your ears checked, be down here at 8 o'clock and, and stand in line. I'm getting my check. And you know what, too, Neil? Right. You can take a picture of your ear, right? right? My the ear. screen. You have if to bring you like a smartphone to... or a camera or right. something. Right. And if you want to go to pay Facebook, you can see a minute and a half video of the inside of my ear. Apparently, I didn't set anybody on fire right there. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start off with... Um, Doc, this, what is surface ear, Doc? It's for anybody... You know, people that had narrowing and problems and needed to have something done. The technique I used was a technique going down the ear canal with a drill. That's kind of what I'd been taught to do. That's what's out there. And I did that for about 10 years. Now, and is that the one where you, fla you flap the... You f no? This was done via the ear canal. So okay. there were no real, no real external incisions. There's other techniques that uh, people will make an incision behind the ear, flip the ear forward, peel the skin out of the ear canal, and use a drill, and then put everything back. That sounds horrible. And uh, more typically, more prolonged healing, more post-operative comfort with that technique. But it makes it easier for the surgeon, and I'm not going to... Any surgeon that you know chooses to do that because they feel that's a safer way to do right. the operation, fine. It's just the patient may find they're having a, a longer healing process and more discomfort afterwards. Okay, so you, I've been into your office, sat in your chair, and I'm a candidate for, for, for yeah. your surgery, right? So I went in there and had my ears checked. My doctor didn't try and sell me anything. He just said I'm a candidate for it. And um, so what's the next step for someone like myself who needs a surgery? I mean, I, I don't want to be, I want to, don't want to be out of the water for more than five sure. minutes. So what's, my, sure. what's the situation now if I come and have the surgery? Well, the thing I always tell people is it's not my decision whether to do the surgery. It's their decision. Right. You know, you can live with a lot of narrowing and get along. And there, there are people I've seen, you know, 10 years ago, I thought, oh, they're pretty narrow. They're probably going to have problems. But they choose to just live with it and, and deal with it. Um, if somebody decides, okay, I've got a lot of narrowing. That's a problem. I don't want to put up with that anymore. Um, whether it be me or whoever they're dealing with, you know, have somebody look in your ears, see what things look like, make sure you're not you know, have some other problem, just a piece of wax or something. And then if you decide, yes, it's bone is a real problem, then it's just a matter of uh, setting up a time to do the operation. Okay, so what what takes place in the operation? I come in there and, and um, on the, slap me on the operating table, I, you know, right? Yeah. What happens? <laughs> so that the I'm sure you've got a more, yeah, it's, more it's, choice words yeah. than that. But. Well, it's under general anesthesia in an operating room. Right. So you've got an IV and they'll give you stuff through the IV and then, you know, then you, you fall asleep. Right. And, I think the last words they always tell people are uh, pick a nice place to take a vacation. You know, right. try to imagine your dream spot. You know, okay. you're in the, in the curl somewhere. And the surgery in the takes how long? Um, typically, operating time per ear is one to two hours. Okay. 
Um, total time for an operation. If somebody's going to be having one ear done, we usually schedule two and a half hours in the operating. If somebody's got both ears done, we usually schedule three and a half. Right. And it just it depends what we find, how fast it goes. You just work away, be efficient, and get people out of the operating as fast okay, as you cool. can. Okay, cool. You are listening to the Off the Radio Show on KSCO tonight. We're here with our special guest, Mr. Douglas, Doug, Mr. Dr. Douglas Hetzler. What's a tongue twister right there? <laughs> He's with the Palo Alto Medical Foundation, and he is the guru. We call him the Michelangelo of surfers ear. And there's been many a wonderful surfer that's been on your uh, operating table, including Nat Young, which is, yeah. I know Nat Young... Uh, Went out there and told anybody he came saw you. So I'm not. Think, I don't think it's a patient doctor confidentiality issue here. Yeah, he's mentioned so, it. So, he's so Nat Young was, which was just recently on yeah. your operating table. And uh, is, do, does everybody get surface here, or is it? Um, there's some variation. There seems to be an individual variation. And also the interesting people are the people who get it really bad in one ear and right. not at all in the other ear. I had a patient recently who one ear totally closed, the other ear totally open. And hadn't been using plugs. We're not quite sure how that worked out. Most people have a similar degree of narrowing in both ears. Would it, in Santa Cruz, would it be the right ear that gets, the, gets it most of all because the wind comes in that direction? You would think if you're sitting there on your board looking out to the, the swell and uh, the north winds are hitting your right ear that it might be. You know, overall, the numbers seem to be pretty equal on the two sides. Really? Yeah. Okay, interesting. If you want to call in tonight and ask the doctor a good doctor a question, the phone number is 831 839-1080. Please give us a call. Again, it's 831-479-1080 if you wish to call and got, speak to the good doctor. TC, what do you got? You got, a, you got your usual paper bag full of questions. <laughs> I <over there>. don't know. <laughs> not at all. But you know what I, I was thinking earlier? It has, has the Obamacare benefited surfers with surfers here? Probably if they, you know, somebody who maybe didn't have insurance coverage before who now has insurance coverage, it probably would benefit them. You know, that kind of lowers the threshold for maybe seeking care, getting it checked out. Right. And is yeah. that, have you, have you seen any of that yet? Uh, at least Me. one guy in the studio. Right here. No, I got the Obamacare. I, right I signed yeah. up for the Obamacare. So we're, so I mean, but just to yeah. me, that's, because I know so many surfers don't have insurance, you know, yeah. and then this is an expensive operation. I'm, I, sure. I won't ask cost on the air because I don't know sure. if that's what we should do. But, I, you know, I'm curious. Now, suddenly, surf, some surfers are going to have insurance. Maybe they can get their ears taken care of. Yeah. And then earlier you were talking about how it seems there to be a, a you know, a, a, a latitude of where people get surfers here on both sides of the equator. Yeah. And uh, I was mentioning how I, it seems like more people are surfing in colder water, and I, you were saying maybe we would see an increase or not? I would think so. I mean, one of the things that really set this off was when, when Jack O'Neill invented the wetsuit, all of a sudden people are dipping in the cold water a whole lot more. And, you know, prior to that, I actually had a chance one time to look in the ears of some of the old-time Santa Cruz Surf Club surfers, and those guys didn't have it so bad. And I think that's because they were, you know, staying high and dry, big boards, trying not to dip into the water, and so they didn't get the exposure. As you get into colder and colder water, longer exposures, more repeated exposures. So if you're up in Alaska, um, if you've got a wetsuit that keeps your body warm and you're not keeping the water out of your ears, you're probably going to get the bone developing faster. And with this, is it an epidemic in surfers in this area, do you think? I think in Santa Cruz, we probably have one of the highest per capita rates in the world. And so, um, I don't know if I call it an epidemic. I think it was epidemic as being like communicable disease. It's not right. a communicable disease. Right. That, <laughs> but uh, it's, it, yeah. it, the, is, are you, it's growing. We're seeing more of it. Yeah, I think it's a function of, you know, more and more people doing it. And still a lot of people take up surfing and not think I'm going to wear an earplug to keep the cold water out so I don't get this condition. Um, a lot of people don't think to wear earplugs until they start having problems. And that's where some of the pre I mean, preventive measures, if you can use earplugs to keep the cold water out, that you may be able to head this off. Sunblock okay. and earplugs, right? That's right. Yeah. Um, um, shark and shark repellent. <laughs> on the phone right now, we have a gentleman from Aptos. I think his name is Mohan. Are you there, sir? Good evening. Yeah, How are hi, you? Uh, hi, good. Uh, thanks for having this program. You're welcome. Um, I haven't been in the water for quite some time, but over the years, uh, when people look in my ears, they can tell that, uh, you know, that, that I've surfed, I've been in the cold water. So... Right. What, what, what is the main symptom of surfer's ear? Is it reduction of, you know, your hearing ability or what, what is that? The main symptom I think you'd notice is if you get water in there that it doesn't tend to come out. Like even in taking a shower, if you get water stuck in there and the water doesn't come out. I mean, a lot of people can have hearing loss for lots of reasons that have nothing to do with any kind of bone growth in the ear canal. But I think for most people, the starting symptom would be you go sh you take a shower, go swimming, or, you know, go in the ocean and the water. My brothers who surf, we all have surfers here really bad. Yeah. And I just wonder if, like, our ears are prone to it more so than other people. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This portion of the show is brought to you by Freeline Design. Next to your shop, TC, the home of one of surfing's most notable families, the Mel's, who have over 40 years 
having served the needs of surfing community of Santa Cruz, stop by the shop one block from the beach at the Hook and check out a true surf shop with history. This is Neil and TC with the Off the Lip Radio Show. We'll be right back after this wonderful set of commercials. Thinking of a vacation in Santa Cruz? Then contact Beach Nest Vacation Rentals at 831-722-0888 to make your reservation. The very best local vacation management company with their staff will take care of the tiniest of details to better your memorable Monterey Bay holiday. They are pet friendly with a choice of homes on or close to the beach in Santa Cruz and the Central Coast. For further information, go to beachnest.com or follow them on Facebook. Hello Highland Grill, corner Portola Drive and 17th Avenue, featuring mouth-watering plate lunch. We're proud to celebrate 10 years of serving the Santa Cruz community. And we'd like to send a shout-out to Neil and TC for doing a great job for over a year here with their Off the Lip radio show. We're open seven days a week, 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. Visit us on the web at alohaislandgrill.com. Like us on Facebook. For to-go orders, call 479-3299. Congratulations once again to Neil and TC for one year on the air. Aloha Island Grill is a proud member of Think Local First. Hi, this is Steve Pereira, the beach guy in Santa Cruz, California. And here's the brains of the outfit. I'm Diane Pereira, Mrs. Beach Guy. We've been selling beach properties since 1982. Come find the coastal vibe here in Santa Cruz. We'll help you find the perfect home or sell your home. We love what we do. We want to help you. So call us at 831-425-SAND. That's 425-7263. Or find us on our website, www.lifesabeach.com. We'd love to help you. Okay, we are back with the Off the Net Radio Show. We've got chaos going on in the, in the uh, studio. I can yep. see you now. You can? Yeah. Oh, you're lucky I missed guy. you over there. I was all blocked <laughs> out. I By like... the way, the doctor's the one with the tie. I know. Okay, we're here tonight with Dr. <laughs> Douglas Hetzler, the Michelangelo of Surfer's Ear. If you think you got Surfer's Ear... Then come on down. If you don't think you got surfers here, come on down tonight. The doctor's giving free ear exams after the show here at KSCO, 2300 Portola Drive. Before we go any further, this por- this we're going to we're going to do trivia. Yes. Trivia is brought to you by Felix Sand Dollar Ding Repair. If your board is dinged, donged, bang, bonged, whipped, <laughs> smashed, whatever, he will fix. If it floats. Felix fix yeah, it. Yeah, Felix. 722, oh, what's his number? I uh, forgot. Sand dollar. 722, oh, 4060, I think it is. Follow him on Facebook. He's yeah, he's awesome. on Facebook. Sand dollar ding repair. He's on Facebook. He's got a website and so forth. Trivia question tonight where you get to win. What are, we, what are you giving away, Cece? Uh, we're going to give away a sweatshirt of your choice from the Santa Cruz boardroom. Thank you okay. very much. My All wife right. didn't know that. I just picked that up. Okay. Sorry, honey. Okay, and we are going to be giving away tonight the, the Santa Cruz Boardroom sweatshirt. And the trivia question tonight for the sweatshirt is, what state is, what is it? Was the question? Fort Knox. Oh, yes, yeah, right. What state is Fort Knox in? I, what U.S. I, state is Fort Knox in? I didn't know that. Oh, look who's walking in right now. The legend oh. himself, Mr. Tyler Fox. Oh, my God. Look at that. Anyway, trivia question tonight. What state is the... Uh, what state is, is Fort, Fort Knox in? in? Thank you very much. And right now, before we go any further, talk to the doctor. We're going. Uh, we're doing our diet thing, TC. Yeah, we're. Do- yeah. I've lost. I went. I was two twenty five, and now I'm two o four. What really are you? Two twenty five. I was two twenty five when I went to see the doctor. Before I went to see this doctor. Wow. I didn't. I didn't cause any weight loss while I saw. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, I've been having a rough road. I lost some weight though, right? You've been mowing sure. Shadowbrook. I did. I, I kind of ticked. I went to Bubba Gums. I thought I was really what? gonna. I thought, it was co- I thought I had be- beat yeah, you bad. I know. But you went to the Crow's Nest, Bubba the, Gumps, yeah. Shadowbrook. Mm-hmm. Skomas and Sausalito. Skomas and Sausalito. Yeah. Gilda's on the wharf. Mowing. <laughs> and was, you yeah. lost four pounds. Pretty amazing. Are you, what are we doing tonight, Sherry? Are you, are, you, are you giving us the waste thing? Or are you talking about sugar? What are we, how are we doing? You know, you guys make it all look so fun, but you're really doing awesome. You're okay. down 14 and a half pounds. TC's down 13 and a quarter pounds. Yo! Yes! yes that number. Yes. You are getting <laughs> results. 
Um, but the tape measures always mm. okay. very okay. interesting. Okay, wait till see, Roke. We get put the tape measure around. Te put the All tape right. measure. Where are we? Oh, where, where, Here, can you just stand up yes. for a second? Okay, TC is getting a tape measure around him right now. Hey, suck what it in, you? suck oh, it in, man. big guy. All what exactly right, is she so measuring on TC? What are you measuring? <laughs> <laughs> <audience. laughs> hey, Doc, Doc, it's a family show. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Easy, no fat yeah. on here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I just want to show you that when the last time I measured you, you were right there. Look. Oh, oh you've lost two what? Inches, two let's, inches. Let's okay, your, around the waist there, buddy. The, the healthy way, by the way, in Santa Cruz, they have the best food. We tease, I go in there and get myself breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Two inches off your uh, abdomen. Oh, okay. dude. Can come you on. come over here, Cheryl? You got to come over here because I can't let go of this mic. Hey, Neil, how long no have we show. been doing this? I've been, been doing it like three, four weeks. I lost two inches off my waist in three and okay. a half Tell weeks or something. Tell them how good the food is. Oh, for sure. By the way, yes. Um, Healthy Way has a, a little store. You can go in there and buy foods. The chicken enchiladas are insane. Oh, yeah. I love them. Um, the, okay, yeah. That's, the, so... Anyone who doesn't know, you can go in there. You can be coached on how to become fit and lose weight and be healthy. And I think that uh, in order to surf, that's an important deal. Neil, what'd you get? I don't know. What am I sharing? Three inches off of his waist. Oh, whoa, <laughs> that spare tire's going Three down. Inches. Way to go, buddy. That's pretty good. Well, so, Sherry, hey. what, how are we doing this? Are we just are we just doing it by following the healthy way and we're eating properly, right? TC showing you that you can even go out and eat. At you fancy can, restaurants and still lose okay. weight. Okay. Well, and uh, Wayne Robinson, who helped me design these. So you uh, made you you came up with these tools for your own surgery. Right. So they yeah they didn't come off the shelf. So they okay. have to custom make these. So um, there's a company in St. Louis that custom makes them for us. And so basically they're they're one millimeter. I don't know if they're showing up on the the uh, webcam here. Um, but they're one millimeter wide and one straight and one has a little bit of curve to it. And the nature of the bone growth in surfer's ear is that it grows um, like a crystal. And so when you can use a little chisel, you can go into these, you know, go to the base of a mound and right. tap on it, and it'll split off in predictable cleavage planes. And that's kind of the principle that lets us do what we do with these, with these little chisels. Okay. You know, Neil, the part that really amazed me is we're talking about an area, you said the size of a thimble? That well, yeah, like the volume of a normal ear canal is about a sixth of a teaspoon. So smaller than probably most people's little, you know, end of their little finger. Okay, what's, what's the best way to manage um, surface ear? If, you're, if you have a fair amount of, well, the first thing is to try to prevent it. Okay. And so if somebody's, you know, showing that they're growing bone in the ear canal, um, if you can keep the cold water out, so that's earplugs and or a neoprene hood. Um, or actually, the ultimate answer is probably move someplace warm. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> so surf somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, find some really warm place <laughs> yeah. and just avoid it altogether. You know, right. South Bali. You know, any of those kind of places. Sounds good. Yeah. Are you going to sponsor um, us? So I can, I can write a prescription for that <laughs> for anybody here that wants that. Okay. Um, but if if you're you know committed to staying in Santa Cruz and being in the cold water, if you can use earplugs to keep the cold water out, that's okay. a good start. I'm going to go back. To, I'm going to talk to you, Tyler, because Tyler contacted me about wanting to get his ears checked. So if you, what's going on with your ears, Tyler? Um, I, I think I, I can't hear, I'm getting ear infections, uh, probably have like 99.9% .9 closure, something like that. Have you had them checked before? Uh, yeah, there's definitely significant bone growth, so, uh. Have you been to see, have you seen, I, the, have you seen the good doctor yet? I, uh, maybe a while back, but right. I, uh, I would... I'm probably going to need to schedule an appointment. <laughs> are you, are you ready so, for the we'll bad the news? Tonight. Yeah. <laughs> are you are you are you having pain from years right now from surfing? Or do you wear plugs or do you think that's not? I, no, you don't, I don't wear plugs. No, I don't wear plugs. Um, I, I they the thing about plugs, I they, I feel they uh, mess with my equilibrium and right. uh, just my balance is off. So I'll try and wear a hood as much as I can. But um, I more and more I've been noticing water getting clogged in my ears, which then leads to you know, infections and right. stuff. So, so you're a can he's going to be a candidate. So you're going to check him out tonight, doctor? Sure, we'll okay. use the camera to be able to so, see what's going um, on. Would you, be, would you be willing to have the surgery if it came, came about? To I, I would uh, love to have the surgery. Okay, so <laughs> there you go. We got your customers. Well, We're getting I know. Your you know, the thing that was interesting is when, when Nat Young came to me, his, his motivation was he said, you know, surfing in heats, he was getting water stuck in his ears and he couldn't hear. And it was a real yeah. problem when he was trying to surf heats. So, you couldn't so that hear was his motivation. Yeah, you couldn't hear the Because he's, he's, yeah, he's a pretty young guy. Right. He's more towards the young end of the spectrum. But you know, he's obviously been surfing a lot. He spent a lot of time in the water. And okay. uh, yeah, if he can't hear things, then it was a real problem. Okay, the phone number to call in tonight. If you do wish to ask Dr. Doug Hetzler a question is 831-479-1080. That is 831-479-1080. You can follow the, uh, us on 
uh, Facebook, Instagram. We are streaming live right now on the Surf Channel. Dot com. So, uh, TC, what do you got? I have a problem with my ears I wanted to ask you about is that, uh, and I'm sure that a lot of people do. So, I have surfers here. I get water in my ear. What do I do then? If you get water stuck in there, one of the options, if we know that you don't have a hole in the eardrum, there's no scrapes in the skin, you can use either pure rubbing alcohol or a combination of rubbing alcohol and white vinegar. And the idea is that alcohol helps water evaporate. Um, the white vinegar is somewhat suppressant of bacterial or fungal growth. So that combination helps a lot of people kind of uh, nurse things along. And absolutely keep your fingers out because I have a horrible problem of putting my fingers in my ear and pulling and trying to yank on them. Uh, it can't be clean. It can't be healthy. Um, I don't think that's likely to cause damage. You probably can't get your finger far enough in there to really cause some problems. I mean, the people that get into trouble are when they try to put little implements inside there, the you know barbecue skewers and keys and is that where you find some stuff? You find some stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, we find, I've tried. No, I'm not laughing. I've, I've stuck track. the car key in there. Yeah. I've stuck it all in there trying yeah. to get rid of this. D- yeah. d- 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 the well, actually, I mean, I don't know how graphic we want to get on things, but the worst case I ever saw was a guy who was having some plugging, and I think he just really went to town with a Q-tip and actually stripped the skin off. The ent- I mean, he had three large bone formations that were kind of converging, and he literally stripped the skin off the bone Wow! with the Q-tip. So, so, like he'd gone in there with it's, so it's okay to pull on them and try to clear them? Because sometimes I can clear it, and then it... Zzz, what probably back. happens if you're really tight. If you pull on the outer part of the ear, you're pulling the skin a little bit, and that may move things around slightly. So you're not going to, you're probably not damage anything by doing that. So, I'm sorry, TC. Um, doctor, he's worried about having earplugs. So this gel jumps a professional surfer. He's going to maybe have the surgery. He's going to need to wear plugs. Is there, are there plugs that he can use that don't cause, you know, your equilibrium to go, be off? There are some. should ask you Noel that. I'm going to ask Noel the same sure. question here. Too. I mean, some of the earplugs are designed to have a little opening so it lets air through, so I can kind of uh, get away from the problem with equalization. Because if you have a total, total seal, um, yeah, that'll sometimes create pressure down in the ear. And particularly if you get pushed underwater, that can create kind of a, a greater ear and pressure. Docs are that. They have both. Okay, have we, got, we got Noel here from Docs Pro Plug. So, Noel, you got something? Do you have something that you could, that, that Tyler could use that? would, you know, uh, combat his equilib- equili- equilibrium problem. Yes, actually, would you mind passing me my ear? Oh, your ear's over there. Ear. The synthetic ear. Oh, okay, what are you doing over there? Yeah, this actually, this one actually doesn't have a vent. Okay, so you have the vent one's going to be better? It, it was performed to make it so you wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't mess with your equilibrium. Okay, mm-hmm. and, and how much do those earplugs cost? They are about $14. Okay. And tonight, they're 10 bucks. If you come out here and pick up set up, right, from KSCO yep. at 8 o'clock, mm-hmm. have your ears checked mm-hmm. with yourself, Dr. Hetzler. Tyler's going to get his ears checked. He's, Tyler's first in line, by the way. <laughs> so what other, do you guys just sell the Doc Pro, do, uh, Doc's Pro plugs is what you have. Are there different kinds of plugs or are they just, the, that's that one set that everyone knows? Uh. Why fix something that ain't broke? I don't know. Okay, um, so that's... that's you know, this is kind of... We have eight different sizes. Okay. So you kind of get that custom fit, obviously, without the custom price. There are um, molded plugs. You can go in. I'm sure Hetzler probably does that, does the molded plugs. Do you do... Do you have the molded ones, Dr. Do you, you know, molded? Um, most audiologists that do hearing aid fittings can make uh, custom molded plugs for people. Okay. And those are about, what, $100? They're... There's some value in like running warm water in your ears after coming out of the ocean. Would that counter some of the chilling effect that the uh, the ocean did? Um, in general, the more warmth, the better. Okay. Now, other uh, other sports, is skiing affected? Snowboarding, cold? No, it's uh, really. What other, is there any other sports that you get surface ear? Uh, kayaking. Uh, a lot of kayakers. You know, they're doing the inversions. They're sticking their heads in snow melt, and some of those guys seem to develop it faster than surfers do because okay. the colder the water, the bigger the phenomenon. Okay. Um, I don't think divers as much because they usually have kind of some kind of a, uh, insulating headgear. Right. Um, so not, but but air doesn't do it. Skiers, snowboarders, Eskimos, not a problem. Okay. Well, Windsur- the windsurfer guys get it a bunch. Yeah, sure again, they, they probably got wet ears, and then they're, you know, if they're dipping in. And, you know, if you're staying dry, if you're, you know, doing a dry launch and you never fall in, probably not too much of a problem. Okay, so you're getting people come from all over the world to come to your office, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Where are the, where, where's the furthest they've, you've, um, can you tell us they've come I from? Don't, I don't know which is further away, Hong Kong, Singapore, or England. That's a good trivia question right there. Mm, that, that is a good one. I'm have to look at the map we, I just saw a gentleman write to me on Facebook who said, you know, he had, the, he had the ear surgery done back east in New Jersey, and then, like, it was a complete botch job, so... He came out here, and everyone knows about you, I guess, and came out here to visit you in Santa Cruz and had the work done and has been as, as good as gold ever since. So I've had people come from 26 states so far, where there's kind of a, a gap in the middle part of the country, but uh, a lot of people from the East Coast have come out. Um, I was amazed that there's a big surfing community in Maine, New Hampshire. Yep. 
Uh, of course, right, you know, plays like New Long Jersey. Island, Jersey Shore, all right. that sort of thing. Yeah. You're listening to the Off the Lip Radio Show here tonight with everybody's in town. Woo! Everybody's in town here tonight. Tyler <laughs> Fox. We have Noah Rogers from Doc's Pro Plugs. We have Cherry Pancini from The Healthy Way. And, of course, the man with the tie, Dr. Doug Hetzler's in the house. You want to call in tonight? 821-479-1080 is the phone number. And we'll be right back after this set of lovely commercials. Hey, this is Susie from Flip Flop Shop Santa Cruz with a special offer for the Off The Lip Radio Show listeners. Now through April 15th, get 10% off when you mention the Off The Lip Radio Show and how much you love Neil and TC. We've got some great new styles and brands for spring. Sanook being one of them. Happy, friendly, and fun. Check it out. We've listened to our customers. You guys have asked for arch support sandals. We got them. Bionic. You've also asked for larger sizes. Now carrying 17 and selected brands and styles. Protect yourself with sunny sun bum sunscreen flip flop shop santa cruz we are located 1528 pacific avenue downtown santa cruz follow us on facebook and instagram hey off the lip radio going nationwide neil tc want to put my support out there for you guys and thank you all for supporting people's coffee i'm uh, kurt the owner here we're on the corner of 17th and bromer in live oak plaza wow we just made seven years so we're here to stay we're not going anywhere we put out an amazing cup of coffee if you haven't been down to check us out take a moment we don't disappoint we care about your happiness people's coffee corner of 17th and bromer we will not let you down It's Julie. And Simon with Toyota of Santa Cruz. How are you guys tonight? Hey, let's keep this short and sweet. If you want to get the best deal on any Toyota, new or used, come to Toyota of Santa Cruz. And remember, our service department's open seven days a week, so it's parts and our shuttle. So we will take care of you. Just come in and buy a car. Come down and check out our certified pre-owned center. We have a huge selection, one of the largest selections of pre-owned cars in the Santa Cruz County. If you're looking for Tacomas, Prius, Camry, uh, we have them. We have a huge selection. So one place to go, drive them all. We'll make it real easy for you. Come down and check us out. If you don't want to get off the couch and drive down to the dealership, start shopping online at SantaCruzToyota.com. Then come and see me or Simon, and we'll take care of you. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Just kidding. <laughs> we are back with the Off The Dead Radio Show on KSCO 1080 AM, broadcasting from the surfing capital of the world, Santa Cruz, California. Here tonight with our special guest, Dr. Douglas Hetzler. In studio also is, is, is growing. There's tons of people <laughs> in here. Tyler Fox, Maverick Surfer, Noel Rogers from uh, Doc's Pro Plugs. And before we get going, just want to let you know that, hey, it's TC. Yes. My co-host TC's in the house tonight, too. <laughs> Am fresh, I over here behind the Fresh from the petit, <laughs> what do you, what do you have? Everything. Oh, the, the petit filet. Petit filet. <laughs> Very nice. Let me, let, let me rattle off some local names. Homer, Rocky, Rap Boy, Nat Young, Dollar, Nelly, Replogal, probably Tyler. And, of course, Barney, last week's guest, Barney. Amazing photos of your surfer are for sale at Dogmatic Arts in Capitola. Stop and check out the art and say hi to Patrick. All at the Lighthouse Building in downtown Capitola. If you want to call in tonight and ask Dr. Hetzler a question, the phone number is 831-479-1080. And the doctor is going to stick around after show and give free video exams. If your ears, it's free to go and see this guy. It takes months for him to make an appointment. I'm making that up, but it's probably true. <laughs> we'll try to find time later this week. Okay, but if you want to get here tonight, and it's free. I like that price. Hey, you know when you read that list of names? Yeah. I thought it was all people who bought Toyotas from Julie. Oh, by the way, <laughs> Julie said to me, mention this, they are open for business. And they have cars got, everywhere. I they've got, there. well, they tore the whole thing down. Toyota, Toyota Santa Cruz is no longer half there. But she says cars. they're still open for business 24-7. Call Julie if you want a new Toyota. She's got them. Doctor, how long, I'm going to come have your surgery. Okay, I, I you know what? I don't want to be out of the water. How long am I going to have to be out of the water for? The end point is I want to be able to look in your ear and have it look like I never did the operation. Okay. And uh, what I typically tell people is expect that to be three to four weeks. Um, the shortest interval, there's a number of people that have been looking good at two weeks. I was kind of surprised. It looked like, you know, gee, did I operate in this ear? The skin looks perfect. 
And I think it's a combination of, you know, I try to do a really good operation, but it's also a function of, you know, the quality of the skin, good nutrition, which, you know, you guys are in this new nutritional thing now, so that's only got to help healing. So that's a good thing. Another one of the benefits. Yeah, wow. In addition to having to buy new clothes. Okay. <laughs> um, but it, yeah, typically three to four weeks. The longest anybody's ever taken is if there's is if their skin's infected at the time of the operation. There's some ears that are so bad you can't get drops in, you can't get any kind of medication to really make the skin healthy. Okay. Stuff's trapped down in. <laughs> I'm yeah. negotiating a deal right now. <laughs> you're lining, I'm his agent. Once again, you're lining your pocketbooks. More petite fil- more petite fillets for TC. <laughs> Woo, let's do Tyler. this. Yeah. So you're at Mavs you're getting you know here comes a, a, a large wave that's going to hit you right on the head yeah do you feel it in your ears do you feel is you like worry about your ears at that point is uh, it the pressure and so forth n- you know I'm not really thinking too much about my ears <laughs> just thinking about your <laughs> thinking about <laughs> I can't even believe he said that he's I, not thinking about his ears well you know what yeah because mine was when I went down the other day I <laughs> burst my eardrum right doctor yeah I, that can happen yeah, yeah, yeah. I got vertigo and it's a nightmare I, yeah. they're still talking about at the beach too it, yeah. it is a I, heard you, I heard you threw up yeah. and stuff I did I puked at 38 down you people still stepping in it <laughs> yeah. alright what, what are you thinking about when you're getting clobbered by a 20 footer um yeah just his sponsors being being uh calm and uh not you know fighting for air and not panicking Awesome. And yeah. we recently had a, a f- excellent guest here on the show talking about her breath holding capabilities. Who what is, do you got? Who is that? What, what do you know? I'm talking about your breath holding capabilities. Oh, but you just said you. Oh, who is uh, Bianca Valenti? Yeah, Bianca. Yeah, she was oh, awesome. Okay. So, how, how, how long can you hold your breath right now? Um, probably, I mean, not all that long. I haven't been training, but I don't know, like. Sitting here, maybe a minute and a half. No, you're gonna get, get, Dude, you better get on it. Huh? She better get on it. She She's kicked four her minutes. Butt. She went four Sat minutes. Here in four minutes. No, yeah. Uh, yeah, she, yeah, four minutes. Four minutes. Well, huh? So I mean, well, come on, buddy. Right. So, if I'm gonna be your manager. So we gotta get you training. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get you. <laughs> so, are there other ways I can prevent? Once I get the surgery done, uh, put the plugs in. I'm good to go. I won't have to come back and see you. Hopefully. Okay. And they're gonna. Am I? Am my ear is gonna be the same shape as when I was born? <laughs> You know? The outside part or the inside the part? The inside can part. You, I make you, a big when he's out, can you give him elf ears? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> kind of a Spock treatment? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's, that's the end of, that, that ended Tyler Fox's radio <laughs> career. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta control the show. This is getting oh, worse than last week. I was gonna say, actually, I thought we were gonna have a doctor on this week. It wasn't gonna be a complete catastrophe. <laughs> come on, come on, Doc. Let's, let's see. Can you Some save it, Doc? Just think about that. <laughs> so, no, yeah, in, terms of your, in terms of your question, what we try to do is probably make it Probably the biggest ear canal you've ever had in your life. Okay. Um, I mean, the, the art- ringing is going to be gone. No, what's going on with the ringing? No, we, you got to get a hearing test because ringing sometimes is a byproduct of nerve damage. Okay. So we can have people that have been using you know power tools and been to concerts and they damage the high frequency nerves and as a byproduct of that you get ringing. So that's Mick not going to be improved by opening the ear canal. Is that Mick Jagger? If, you know, if you've got an ear that's plugged up because of wax and debris and swollen skin and okay. your hearing's damaged because of that, we open up. That'll probably make your hearing better at that point. Okay. But there are a lot of people that have a lot of bone growth and their hearing loss has nothing to do with the bone growth. Okay. Um, are your surgeries always successful? In terms of getting the bone out, yeah, sure. They yeah. are. I mean, there was actually an article the Sentinel wrote, and they said 90% success. Wait, wait, wait just hang up a second. We've got okay. a gentleman here from the Sentinel right over here. Okay. Okay. There so, was, I don't, this is a number of years ago. And oh, they, yeah, and they yeah. said 90% success, and then it like went on to the next page. Right. And I thought, I hope you know people realize that that sounds kind of bad, like 10% failures. What they were supposed to say was that 90% success at healing by three to four weeks, and okay. the 10% took longer than four weeks. Okay. But uh, nobody's not been able to get back in the water and... Yeah, uh, we've getting people off the table. Uh, people and, uh, obviously the bone grows worse than some people are worse than others, right? As far as the amount of bone, yeah. Oh yeah, every ear is different. Every ear is completely different. So what happens? The bone grows over the eardrum. Is that just something that that the, that the body does automatically to protect the eardrum? Well, at a, at a kind of biologic level, what happens is cold causes blood to congest in the skin. This is the thinnest skin in the body. There's no insulation. That congestion of the skin causes sli- a slight pressure in something called periosteum, which is next to the bone. Periosteum responds to pressure by generating new bone. So it's like layer upon layer upon layer, like rings of a tree or layers in an onion or that kind of thing. And so you get, if you look at these in cross section, it looks like wood grain. Okay. And so anyway, the, the cold congestion of the blood, pressure on the periosteum, new bone growth, and layer upon layer, so they just kind of grow. And you can have usually three converging bone formations, but the proportions vary in everybody. Okay. So when you do my surgery, let's not do the elf ears, okay? No. Okay, thank you. This is the Off-Lip Radio Show on KSCO 1080 AM. We're broadcasting from Santa Cruz, California. We are on the surfchannel.com, KSCO.com, Facebook, Instagram, 
tweeting now, TC. Woo! And we will be right back. We want to thank our sponsors for sponsoring the show. Without them, it's not happening. We want to thank my Chris, my engineer tonight, and we'll be right back after this commercial. Thank you. Hello, this is Schmitty from Schmitty's Custom Cabinets, Santa Cruz, California, 475-7809, area code 831. Looking for kitchen or bath cabinets? Call me. Service and quality number one. Want to thank Neil and TC for the opportunity to advertise on Off the Lip Radio Show. This is Schmitty from Schmitty's Custom Cabinets, 475-7809. That's in the 831 area code. Remember to be kind. Enjoy the day. Thank you. This is TC from the Santa Cruz boardroom. If there's one thing I know, it's that everybody listening wears shoes. Check it out. Santa Cruz boardroom has 3,000 pairs of shoes in stock from the best brands in the business. Nike, Adidas, America, Lakai, Converse, Globe, and Supra. Come on down. Check out our 3,000 pairs of shoes. Pick up some new tread for your feet and be happy. Santa Cruz Boardroom, 825, 41st Avenue, open every day of the week. Chill Out Cafe on 41st Avenue Santa Cruz is not just a block from some of the world's best surf, but it is also where you can go relax and order the tastiest grub before and after your sash. Plump burritos, fresh salads, sky-high sandwiches, and a superb selection of hot and cold drinks. They have something for you. Go to chilloutcafesantacruz.com to view their menu and to place your order to go, call 831-477-0543. Chill Out Cafe, where they roll the fatties. We are back with the Off the Lip Radio Show here tonight with our very special guest, the man with a tie, Dr. Doug Hetzler, talking about surfers here. Uh, one last reach out to our listening audience. If you want to come down here tonight, get your ears checked, be here. If you see the thing disappears in your ear, you got a problem. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've had people lose cotton down in there. We have to go down and take it out. And, that's, yeah. that's, Is it so, better just not to t put Q-tips in your ears? Um, I mean, I think for the average person with an open ear canal that doesn't have a lot of bone growth, you know, using them at the outside is fine. Um, you know, the old ad, uh, dictum was nothing smaller than your elbow and your ear, which, you know, keeps you out of trouble. But the reality is people can use Q-tips. Actually, Q-tips are much better for cleaning your nose than they are for cleaning your ear. Okay. Um, pretty clean children. Like stick one up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just thinking the alcohol, I'm, like from thinking from myself, like I think alcohol is probably some surfer's best form of defense. Sure. sure. Uh, doctor, are there other... Doctors in for our listening audience worldwide on the Surf Channel, are there other doctors uh, who are performing this kind of surgery have come to you and you've helped them or taught them or showed them the ropes, as it were? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've given talks in Australia, Ireland, uh, as well as various places here in various universities. Um, I've had a number of people come here and watch me operate and then take the technique back home. There was a, I'm going to drop all the names just because people may be able to contact them. Yeah. Um, Jean Seyou in Bordeaux, France, okay. uh, came and watched. Um, her, Haruka Nakanishi and uh, University of Miyazaki in Japan came okay. and watched. We actually uh, had a little surf session. To, uh, I'm, don't, I shouldn't say that. I'm not really a surfer. But I was in the water and watching him surf. Um, uh, there's a guy in South Africa, John Steer, who I sent some chisels to. I've never met the man, but we conversed and uh, exchanged emails, and I sent him some chisels. Um, so it's kind of gradually spreading out around the world. Would you, you have an ironworks at your office? Are you making these <laughs> things? What do you, what do you, how are you doing Well, they're, they're custom made. Most of the tools are custom made for me by um, various companies. There's about five different companies, and we've, we've engineered several different things. I mean, I've, I kind of make prototypes. Do in you a, have in to get permission shop. from Palo Alto Foundry? Like, you got an idea for a tool? Is that something you're just jamming down someone's ear hoping it works? Or well, does, actually, it, get, does what, it get tested on something? Or what, or? what originally started out was we were modifying some existing tools and, uh, at the Sutter Maturity and Surgery Center, and the, the metal shop was between the cafeteria and the operating room. So back, going back and forth, like, oh, they have torches here. Oh, they have grinders. Oh, they right. have, you know, things. So we took some existing things and modified them just a little bit and just let things evolve. And to the point now, I'm pretty happy. I'm still, I'm still engineering some things and we're actually getting involved with some people in Germany to, to do that. So you're an ears, nose, and throat mm -hmm. doctor. Yeah. What's the most favorite thing for you to operate on? Um, you know, after doing all these years, I'd have to say years, I guess. But one thing I want to comment, I've kind of added up the amount of time, like the number of, I've operated on like over 1400 ear canals with this technique. And so like the time involved in that and taking care of the people before and after, which is basically added up to like one working year of my life. Right. Um, so far. So I just, wanna, I just want to say, I've sat there at his chair and you know, the man has a steady hand that like you could not believe. Cause I, I was thinking that you don't go see him, but like at nine o'clock in the morning after he's been to Starbucks. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, I don't like I don't like coffee. Sh- right? And he's so chiseling next to your eardrum. He, he, you know, I've sat there. He's put he put what these instruments have ended up in my ear, which is kind of disturbing because you get to see them on the video screen. <laughs> They're they're very small. So yeah, I and mean, then he, nothing hurts, and he's very very gentle. So it's something that this is a little I, alligator forceps we're trying to show on. Yeah, the these screen. are alligator forceps for, that the, I've had for to, the radio audience. It's a little grasping tool that it's a surgical instrument we used to. And what does that grab and, and withdraw from your ear? Anything you want to. Anything Bone you, chips and stuff. Is yeah. that what you're getting out of there with yeah. that? Yeah. Right. I mean, I use the same thing in the office, like to get chunks of wax out of people's ears, foreign bodies, mm-hmm. insects, debris. <laughs> now, and is 1400 is that the world record for ear surgery i have no idea i mean you mean for this operation yeah for one i for one have doctor? no idea um it may be i mean i don't I, have, I mean there's probably guys in australia that are doing a lot um and i don't know what people are doing in southern california what kind of numbers they're doing but i think you know northern california just because of the per capita you know incidence of this it's a big population earlier i was telling you i had a customer in my store from my i thought he was from south carolina and he had flown out to have surgery done and that we, we kind of discussed maybe it was the guy yeah. who had the worst ear yeah this this was a guy who uh, was from north carolina circa the outer banks over there and uh you know they get cold water in the winter time i think the summertime it's up in the 80s but in the winter time they get cold yeah and he had 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 a severe hearing loss for a number of months and he turned out to be one of the worst years i'd ever seen the bone growth had grown to the point it was pressing the skin up against about two-thirds of his eardrum and the skin had scarred to the eardrum so once i got the bone out of the way i had to peel the skin away from the eardrum very carefully so we didn't put a tear in the eardrum and he was ecstatic in the recovery room because he could hear so much better right away in spite of the fact that there was blood in there and ointment and various things but um, he had a nice recovery and, and did well. Has there ever been someone who didn't recover? I mean, no. I, just, I don't want to put the disclaimer, like, don't see the yeah. doc, but, but you've been, everybody you've worked on has come out with better hearing. Well, that better makes hearing sure for better makes... functioning ears. Right, because, exactly. Because, yeah, you could, have, you could have a hearing problem that's nerve-related. We're not going to change that by doing this kind of a surgery, but as far as, you know, water not getting stuck and that type of thing. That yeah. makes me feel a lot better because I know my ears are crappy, and anyone listening on the show can, can say, hey, wow, if it's worked every time... I could be confident that I, this isn't really that big a deal. Yeah. Um, one lady did write to me today. It was Cassandra Clark, who's Jeff Clark's wife. Jeff Clark is a, my, a Mavericks pioneer. And she happened to write, said, wanted to, she wrote and said, tell the doctor thank you because she, you know, you saved his ears or worked on his ears and, and saved his hearing and, and he's back to normal and back out there surfing again. So uh, she wanted to say thank you. And I think you're going to help a lot of people, including myself and I'm sure Tyler too, but well, there's a lot of people that are very grateful for the surgery you're doing because it's not it, it isn't it's not painful. I mean, the thing where the the old time where you fold, folded the ear forward and used a drill, it just sounds you just want to go running from that type of surgery. And but the thing you, is, yeah, the the bone does not have nerve endings. You know, if you could um, get the skin out of the way, you know, bone does not have nerve endings. It's not painful, but the skin is sensitive. Obviously, very very sensitive down in the ear canal. Right. And so basically the technique is just trying to be very careful and it's, you know, it's like working with wet tissue paper once you start doing the surgery, just protect mm. the skin so they get good healing results. And I've, the, um, it's interesting, the nurses at the surgical facilities always comment, some of these are some of the happiest patients they have going to the operating room because they're so happy that they're going to be, you know, functioning better and not having the problems. And there are people that are, you know, on the verge of giving up surfing because it's such a problem and then their ears function better and they get back to it. Have you had people who have given up surfing and come back, come to you and, you know, you've, you've uh, reintroduced their career? Yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, the, one of the more me. dramatic. I would say one of the more yeah, dramatic. UTC, I mean, yeah, yeah. I like. I pretty much at Surfers Ear pretty much ended my surfing, you know, and so. And I know you guys are a surf and skate show, right? So I don't know if I'm going to cross step on any toes here, but there was one guy who gave up surfing and took up skateboarding because the you know the ear problem, and then he had, had some injuries from the skateboarding, and so he was real happy to get back to surfing, softer <laughs> landings, <laughs> the human body. Okay. And so, who knows what will be down the road. All right, cool. Well, we want to thank you for coming on the show tonight. It's been an awesome show. I want to thank Tyler Fox. I want to thank Noel from Docs Pro Plugs. Sherry Bianchini was in the house tonight. She's doing it a healthy way. We are so skinny and looking good, feeling good. Next week's guest is the former Secretary of State of California, Mr. Bruce McPherson, who's here with his uh, childhood sweet, I was like sweetheart, childhood friend, he went to school together, Mr. Rich Novak oh is boy. back in the house. We might have to wear ties that night. Senator now. Bruce McPherson, I'll we'll see you next you. week with the Author <laughs> Video Show. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you, like, as I said, next week. Your source for news, sports, traffic, and